Hi Taurus, happy birthday. It's Elle here to do your May 2019 general reading. A thank you to all those who have liked, shared, subscribed to the channel. It means so much. Uh, I've already pulled the cards just for the sake of time. Um, let's move into the reading, okay? So it's your birthday month, but it looks like you may be going through a transformation, right? With the death card at the bottom of the Rider Waite deck. So something's been ending. This is not a sudden end. This is a, a, it's a gradual end or you knew something was coming to an end. We have the Nine of Wands twice. Um, this is a person contemplating, do I want to jump back in? Um, I've energetically removed myself, meaning I'm not doing too much in regards to the situation, whatever it may be. Um, I'm just evaluating it from afar. And then on the where you are in the past, we have the Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So you, you energetically removed yourself from a situation that may have been Eight of Wands, troublesome. There might have been jealousy in regards to um, a relationship, just problems overall. Uh, you also may have had a, a taxing ordeal. It could be anything from recovering from surgery, recovering from medical type stuff uh, with the Four of Swords here. Um, you may be recovering from maybe, you know, you're separated from someone, maybe a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and now you're in the evaluation stage. Do I want to jump back in this? Because I've found peace, tranquility, um, stillness, and trying to heal from this situation. Either you're feeling this way or someone is feeling this way about you. All right, and that was in the past. Presently, the Taurus is the high priest, excuse me, the hangman. Uh, divinity, waiting for divine answers, waiting for clarity. Like I said, do not doing too much. The nine of wands has removed themselves. Where, you know, you or the other persons removed themselves from this situation. Kind of um, suspended, suspended animation. So, just allowing things and people just to move how they would naturally and you're not doing too much to manipulate the energy because you're waiting for it also you know something too you know you have to make a decision clarifying that hangman you may you know that you had to make this decision for a long time but you've been keeping your eyes you know blinded kind of putting your head in the sand about this but it says uh, the nine of cups is here I uh, wish fulfillment make a wish it could possibly very well come true for you uh, what you feel you are without because the nines talk about separation I am without that tenth cup the ultimate and highest level of happiness whatever that may be for you um, make a wish it could possibly come true uh, And then that's presently and then in the future energy you have the seven of air and the nine of wands so this may be um some of you know something you intuitively know something you know that somebody's been deceitful and or you're going to make a plan of action to completely probably ten of wands not uh drop this situation because it's been burdensome you're looking at it so if you make the decision here, you get what you want. If you choose not to make any decision, you'll be right back at where you were in the past. The Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. And this time it'll be the Seven of Air and the Nine of Wands. For some of you, it's like you're trying to make a, a plan of action to either go back to the magician here. 
I'm trying to put everything together so you can get exactly what it is you want. You have the idea. The magician has the idea. Then he's, he or she starts to pull together the energies. Uh, the wands, the cups, the swords, um, the pentacle to manifest whatever this idea is. You have the idea that somebody has been a liar, a cheat, a sneak. Has been out to get exactly what they want in a situation not caring about the actual partnership so once again you're back at the evaluation stage in the in the near future but you know that maybe this situation needs to be over you need to end it there needs to be a complete transformation in it you could be dealing with air lots of air here water None of your energy, no, no pentacle. So lots of thinking and then doing, hoping and wishing. Um, we're going to clarify over at the website to see what this is about. Um, to see if we're going to clarify the future energy, and then we're going to act. We're going to ask the cards the question: Should you stay in this energy, or what will come? about you evaluating this you see that somebody's being sneaky underhanded a liar deceptive in some nature or somebody sees that about you uh, the past you were evaluating the situation I think you were praying for change but presently what it says is change comes by you changing the, the situation the dynamic by making the choice or the decision a decision so cutting away of and getting absolutely what you want you were praying for change but the change comes by you making a decision it looks like for some of you, you go right back to trying to wait up do I continue this okay all right, so let's go over to the website and figure this out. See if the Taurus or vice versa. Um, see what this energy is about. Why are you staying in this energy? All links are below. Um, go ahead and click that link. The extended read is $2 for you to... If you feel like this resonates with you thus far, this also could be job. You may have taken a break from work. Now, it's, do I want to go back? Should I go back? It was already problems. I don't know. Make the decision. You'll get what you want. You have an idea that somebody is being sneaky, deceptive, manipulative, but you're still hanging in there. Or vice versa. Okay? Somebody's watching you, knowing that you're doing that, or vice versa. All right, so let's go over to the website. Thank you for tuning in. Now that I'm praying for you, Taurus, pray for me as well. Once again, happy birthday. Take care, guys.